Hello friends, welcome to YouTube channel Electronics for You. In this video, I will explain how to draw a signal flow graph from the system equation. Now before moving to the example directly, let us see some rules related with the signal flow graph algebra. The first one rule, first rule is addition rule. The value of a variable at a node equals to the algebraic sum of the incoming signals at the node. See here that these are the incoming signals and by addition rules we have to add them if they are coming toward the node. Now as you can see here that this is your X4 which is nothing but an output node because all the signals are incoming here and therefore the system equation will be x4 equal to as it is your output node you will write x4 equal to now the gain for this can be written as 2 multiplied by x1 because x1 is our first variable now uh, look at this this signal is also going toward the x4 therefore plus sign will be there 4 times x2 plus 6 x3 will be here and this is the equation for this rule by uh, for export by using addition rule similarly here we can write the equation for v v is our voltage v is equals to now our r1 is constant that is gain multiplied by input input is i1 so i1 r1 i1 multiplied by sorry plus 1 multiplied by i2 means i2 this is the equation for voltage v2 this is our first rule that is addition rule the second one is transmission rule transmission as the name indicates it will transmit the signals now in uh, sfg the value of variable designated as a node in sfg is transmitted on every branch that leaves a node if this is your node and it is leaving some signals then uh, here definitely you will get some equations by using transmission rule x2 is our output signal again and x2 is equals to input signal multiplied by gain so my gain here is phi u phi u multiplied by input signal is x1 similarly x3 equal to we can write the equation for x3 it is gain multiplied by input input is again x1 so, so it is 7 x1 and for x4 the equation will be equals to 9 multiplied by x1 so this is our transmission rule and third rule is multiplication rule here uh, if the consecutive branches are there uh, means uh, if uh, the branches are in series and uh, if we apply transmission rules uh, definitely uh, we have to apply it multi uh, multiple times and here therefore this diagram will be equivalent to as we are moving from x1 to x4 the same direction is there and the resultant gain is multiplication of the individual gains individual gains are a b and c respectively therefore it will be a multiplied by b multiplied by c so this is our multiplication rule now let us move toward the example now this is the example consider the system represented by the following equation draw the sfg sfg is signal flow graph of the system and some equations are given here it is x1 x2 x3 and x4 means we are already having some uh, variables as x1 x2 x3 and x4 one more variable is there that is x0 so uh, if you want to draw the diagram directly draw it okay so in some books you will find that x1 is uh, drawn separately then x2 is drawn then x3 and after that x4 and after that they will connect uh, each and every node i will never recommend such a thing you have to draw all the nodes here okay all the variables represent it by some nodes so i will draw all the nodes first so let 
the first node is x0 okay it is not necessary that you should draw it in sequence but it will be good if you draw it in sequence so that uh, further no problems will be there so let it be x0 our first node is first variable is x0 second one is x1 let it be x1 the third one is x2 fourth one is x3 and the last one is x4 so i am drawing all the nodes at a time now we have to connect it uh, as per the rules see here that if a plus sign is there the incoming signal should be there okay so in case of x1 let us write the equation for x1 here x1 is pi u x0 okay this plus sign indicates that the signal is going from x0 to x1 so x0 to x1 signal we have to draw it okay we have drawn it and its gain is pi u so i will write pi u here okay now plus 4x1 is there okay so 4x1 is there now see here that uh, we are writing equation for x1 itself and we are moving to the x1 itself means this is nothing but a self loop so it is your x1 sorry x1 and its gain is here 4 now as x1 is completed move to the next topic that is x2 x2 is tan x1 now x2 is tan x1 means you are moving from x1 to x2 with the gain as tan so it is tan times x1 then again pi u x2 is there we are drawing for x2 and moving to x2 again again it's a self loop which is having gain equal to pi u now note here that the next is negative sign negative sign again it will indicate the incoming node uh, it is incoming signal to x2 from x3 from x3 you are moving to x2 but its gain is minus pi u okay so this is this will satisfy this equation that is tan x1 plus pi u x2 minus pi u x3 now let us draw the signal flow graph for x3 now x3 equals to 2x2 means you are moving from x2 to x3 and its gain is 2 and 3x4 now note here that it is not x3 at all so 3x4 you are moving from x4 to x3 i am just drawing this like this otherwise you can draw a straight line also no problem you can draw a straight line it is a it is equals to 3 3 x4 okay 3 3 times x4 now x4 is equals to 20 x3 x4 is equals to 20 x3 means you are moving from x3 to x4 with the gain 20 so this is the respective diagram for our equations so one by one you can draw this and in this way it will make our overall problem easy this is one example the next one is practice problem here this is the problem you have to find the uh, signal flow graph again and this is your solution try it and this will be your answer check whether it is correct or not as per the diagram our next video will be of how to draw signal flow graph, a graph from block diagram so basically uh, friends i am making uh, different uh, uh, videos of control system you can go into the playlist uh, the playlist is available in hindi as well as english you can watch it and uh, please subscribe the channel thank you